Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, ladies and gentlemen of the internet and every variation in between. Welcome back to the channel. I am Lothans, of course, and we're going to be checking out a game called Ostriv. Now, if you haven't heard of this game, you're not alone, but it is an excellent colony builder, management sim, um... It's got its own, you know, dynamic economy going on. It's a really cool game. Alpha 4 just dropped today, which is March the 6th of 2021. And I'm going to take a look at some of the, uh, the patch notes here. Major update Alpha 4 released. So... If you have seen some uh, some some videos of Ostrov in the past, one of the things that has one of the big changes that just came about is citizens will now use their gardens to grow their own food for sale and for personal consumption. So they can have their own little garden in their fenced-in area around their house now, and you can resize the fenced area and even move the house around. We're going to try a little bit of that. Uh, greatly optimized pathfinding, slightly over optimized overall graphics performance. Resources will now also be supplied for the next construction in a queue, which is a big, big change. Uh, export stock in one of your trading uh, trading buildings can now be marked as a one-time deal, so they will not be restocked after the sale, which is very, very nice. New info overlay that shows products for sale at the local market. So marketplaces, change, improved forestry, construction, animation. Can plant trees again after the reforestation area is all cleared. Uh, they have a few new buildings, one of which is a construction office. Allows you to hire additional builders. Another new building is the cart shed. Allows you to hire carters for regular deliveries. Very nice. Citizens will now only choose nearby market stalls and wells. New building, gazebo, that comes in two variations apparently. We'll be checking that out. Uh, you can build houses without gardens around them. So for like a sort of an inner, more of a uh, an urban style area of your, your colony. Added storage capacity limits on all buildings. Added new curses when relocating animals or vehicles, which is uh, hopefully that's very nice. We'll see what that looks like. Can now create a special order to move resources fulfilled by carters or wagon shed workers specifically. So, ah, women will now use carts, but with less efficiency. So that's a big change as well. Before, women only men could use the carts and, and you know, move things around in mass kind of looking over some of the stuff here they got a new tree type spruce tree before it was just pine uh you can now choose one of the two tree types in creating a new game so apparently they don't mingle but it's one or the other your family tree is now going to also show children and parents who live separately but only those who moved after the update so this is all new stuff we're going to make a new game so we're going to see all the cool new stuff citizens will now get inheritance from their deceased parents Old people who live alone will try to move in with their children. Very nice. When both parents living with children die, the oldest child becomes the head of the family. Food consumption now depends on family budget, market price, and amount stored. So maybe they're not just going to burn through everything right away. Maybe they'll... I don't know. I don't really know what that means, but we'll see. Uh, maybe if they have a surplus of money and food, they'll eat more. Maybe if their their surplus is low and their money's low, maybe they'll eat less to try to make things go further like people do in real life. Uh, improved house models and construction animation, which is really cool. I always love watching the houses build in this game. Another new building, the Salt Works, allows you to produce salt from underground brine deposits, which are everywhere at the moment, apparently. Improved farm model and construction animation. So another new building design, I guess, for the farm. 
Amount of house construction resources now depends on model variations, so that's very interesting. Newlyweds and newcomers to the colony will choose houses with no regard to the order in which they were built, so that's interesting. They'll, they might move in closer to where they might work. Uh, now shows the reason why a family might be moving out of the property. Hmm. Uh, oh, another new building, a primary school for little the little kiddos. So with F1, by default, and I assume you can change this key, you can now customize the form and size of the village house garden. So that's very, we're going to be playing with that a lot. Garden owners will now pay land tax set by the town hall based on land area. Pigs can now be fed new vegetables, carrots, cabbage, and beetroot, which I, apparently there's new vegetables in the game. You find out by reading this, this line here. That's very cool. Uh, a bunch of bug fixes, and that's about it. So let's let's jump right in, make ourselves a new game. Let's go. No new maps. So let's let's check out. This is one of my favorites. Map six. I like that one. Let's pause right away. We have to choose a map location for our colony to be. The maps are really really gorgeous. I didn't I didn't really see a place to choose my tree type. Let me try to try to go back here. Oh, here it is. Pines or spruces. Let's try spruces. Oh, nice. Look at that. A beautiful spruce trees. So let's let's put these guys right here. Right there. And let's check out our production. So the forestry has a new look. A new animation when it's constructed so let's check it it doesn't look new it does not look new all right that's okay that's okay we're gonna tuck that guy in right over here and we'll unpause it and apparently pathfinding is better so we'll see what they what they start doing this guy grabbed the cart this guy grabs a cart this guy looks like he's grabbing a cart okay uh, we also need a clay pit so let's put the clay pit maybe up in here, right over here, kind of out of the way. And we're also going to need, once again, a thatchery. I've, I've played this enough to where I kind of I know some of the stuff I'm going to need. So forgive me if I don't, you know, explain what I'm doing, but at the beginning of the game... You need a forestry first, you need a clay pit, you need a thatchery, and you need a smithy for nails. But you don't need to build the smithy immediately, but you do. The objective now, after the forestry is built, is going to pop up and say, okay, you need to build, everybody that's in a tent has to be in a house. And there's one family per tent. So I have... Should be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we need nine houses before winter, or they're just going to move out. Oh, let's check out the uh, the construction going on over here. This is one of the beautiful things about this game. They have developed where they bring the resources over, so they're grabbing all the stuff. You see everybody moving around, grabbing all the stuff, and. They drop it here, and then the workers come over and they say, okay, I'm going to, you know, uh, put all this stuff up piece by piece. So they piecemeal it together, which is really awesome. Um, a buddy of mine uh, was watching me play this one day, and he, he kind of called it Amish Simulator, which I don't I don't disagree with that. <laughs> it kind of is Amish Simulator. But this is set in uh, in Europe somewhere, this 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 game. So we're in March of 1721. Here, it's going up, going up. We need a couple of guys to work the forestry right away, as soon as, this, as, soon as it drops. It should be right now. There we go. Uh, can we not? Oh, there we go. 
We need two workers, so let's bring a guy out of construction to work that with him. Yeah, yeah. I think we, we, we might as well build the smithy right off the bat. We might as well. Because, and where is it going to go here? What is, what's the layout of our place going to look like? I think we're going to have houses kind of on the coastline. Maybe maybe this will be kind of the center of town right here, right up, right up in this general area. So maybe the smithy just kind of gets tucked in right about here. Right about there. Is there still nobody working here? What is going on? All right, uh, fire you as well then. All right, you're no, you're no longer hired. Let's see if we can't get a couple of guys hired in here. Um, okay, two more guys will fire you. You guys want to uh, start working over here, maybe? <laughs> I've never had this this many people, this this much of a problem. All right, looking for jobs. Two guys looking for jobs, so we'll put them on construction duty. All right, these guys are going to have to chop some trees, bring them over, and, you know, make wood and firewood out of them. And then we got to start thinking about where our houses are going to go. And this is the fun. Okay, village house with a garden, village house without a garden. So I want to try village house with a garden. And we can, oh, we can put it. Awesome. So we find out where we want to put it. Let's sort of put the housing out here and like the, the town stuff over in this area. So let's go kind of over here and we'll rotate this guy. So he's sort of like, sort of like that. Actually, let's, let's bring him over here as far as he can go and kind of make a loop. All right, let's do F1. Okay, so I guess we drag these guys. We drag. Do I? Do I? Do I hold F1 and drag? <laughs> oh, I click it and drag it. Okay, so let's let's give them a nice. Oh, and you can actually maybe hook them up this way as well. So let's do that, and then move the house back here. Yeah, move the house in the corner. Maybe over. Maybe right here. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Right there. And then they can have their garden out here. Okay. And then enter plans it. Okay. Cool. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Let's bring this guy. And it snaps to him too. Oh, that's so good. Alright. So you. And we're going to resize you. I'm going to bring this around and bring this up a little bit and we'll bring you, let's put him back over here. He didn't want to be too close to his neighbor. Bring you back there. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Oh, I'm loving it. It's going to take me ages to plant houses now though. Usually I just plop them down real quick, but now, oh, now, now we get to have some fun. All right, I want to drop this guy here and bring this out like so, sort of like that. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna spin you around, put you right here. Yeah, right about there. That'll look nice. And then we'll have this be like a little opening. We'll put another house over here maybe sometime. So there's three. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. <laughs> Okay, the thatchery is done, so we want to hire women only, and maybe two of them to start. Okay, forestry is going good, working on the smithy, and they'd be playing uh, six more houses at least. So let's do that. Let's uh, let's bring this out here, and we'll do. Should we uh, leave a space to walk here? Yeah, why not? Why not? We'll do F1. Bring this over. Actually, we'll bring this one up. Like that. And maybe this up a little bit. 
And it, I wonder how far we can make these. Can we make these? Oh, it's too long. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm figuring it out. We're figuring it out. There we go. Enter planned. Perfect. I don't know about perfect, but I like it. <laughs> okay, F1. Oh, yeah. So good. That is actually so good, man. And we'll bring you, I'll bring you down here. So these two houses will be like back to back. That'll be nice. And then one more makes six. Bring you over here. Something like that. We'll do that. Yeah. And this guy is going to be over here in this corner. Right about there. Oh, this is so nice. All right, so we have six houses planned. We're going to need some water out here. So let's do a well. And we'll just fill this area in here, maybe. Uh, put a well, like, right there. We'll fit that guy in. And let's do... Let's do three regular houses in here. Oh man, look at that. So Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Okay, so let's let's bring these houses are going to be sort of over here, just off on their own. They're going to be near the center of town. I like it. I love this actually. I don't just like it, I love it. Uh, let's bring you like this. Just kind of around the forestry. I mean, that's fine. You hear saws all day. But, you know, you live right in town. So that's nine. Right? Yeah, that's nine. Perfect. Let's put another well for these guys out here. Just back here. All places occupied with a log. Okay, let's speed things along, see if they grab that log here in just a second. There you go. Put a well back there. Okay, cool. So they're working on this. They're working on the smithy. They're running short on resources. Looked like they needed some wood, so... Alright, this guy's grabbing some wood. And it is going up. We don't need to make somebody work there right away. Let's see. I think this is our storage. Yeah, we have a thousand iron and, and 1,200 nails left. So we got a little bit of time before we absolutely have to get somebody hired in at the smithy. But it is done. The funny thing about the smithy is if you don't build it right away and use all your nails for the houses, you can't build a smithy because it requires nails to build it. So... <laughs> You're kind of out of luck. Okay, okay, okay. This is the big moment right here. This is the big moment right here. This is the first house with a garden that I have ever seen in my life in this game. Bringing over the resources. This guy's going to put, put something down. Okay. Oh, that is a new animation. They didn't put the uh, the frame in. Okay, okay. Now I wonder if the garden just pops up or if the people that live there actually start planting stuff. Oh, this is a brand new animation. Let's slow this down. Let's let's appreciate this a little bit because this is this is a big deal. Are they done? No, there's one Amish guy left. <laughs> one Amish guy left. He's still working, still hammering. Yeah, you get that that wood beam. It looks like the foundation's getting laid. Oh, he's done for the day too. Let's speed things along here. Oh, we got some more clay incoming. Yeah, used to they put a they put a wooden square down, and then they put clay, or they'd use clay to put a a, a base down. And then they'd grab wood and put little floorboards down for the foundation 
And then they'd build the frame of the house up around it. <clears throat> so this is a totally different animation, which I love. This is going to be great. I can't wait to see this in action. All right, let's slow it down a little bit and appreciate what's going on. Oh, there we go. Some floorboards going in. Oh, this is so nice. You know, and I had intended to do several Ostra videos. Every update that comes, start a new colony, check out the new changes, you know, and I just never got around to it, and I, I'm, I wish I had, because the last major update they had added so many more new things. They added seasonal hiring capability, which was a, a total game changer. They added the ability to have uh, a ship trading uh, trading yard on the river and they added a new uh, a new NPC town this guy right here used to be this this and this only now they added this guy down the river that you had to have a river trading station to, to trade with them you know so a trading dock so that was that was a pretty big update as well. Now we have education, looks like, with the primary school. A place for children to get primary education. That is a huge deal. Oh, they're pouring clay around around the foundation now. Nice. Speed it up just a tad because there's only one guy working right now. Oh yeah, now they're putting they're they're putting wood down over the clay. Boy, are they gonna get nine done in time? This is taking a long time. <laughs> I hope so. But this is this is totally different than what they had before. Very now. Oh, something's going on over here. I want to check it out. Wow. I'm speechless, man. This is amazing. This is already an amazing game. A very detailed construction of every building happened in this game already. And this is even more detailed. Oh, it's so good. Look at that. They're putting it up like a like a proper log house. They're getting some framework in for the other side. This is amazing. Some windows in. Look at this. Now they're they're claying up the uh, the walls. Wow. Speechless man, this is amazing. What is this building their their fireplace maybe? I don't know what that's going to be. That's so cool. Wow, this is like, <laughs> they just threw that little triangle piece up there. Plop. <laughs> this is odd, man. This is so good. This is so good now. It was good before, but this is amazing now. Oh, man. Speechless, dude. But there's so many actions for one house now. Holy crap, are they going to get nine done by winter time? Used to, it was like you're, you're toeing the line of getting them all, all in. In time. Now I'm kind of worried. Oh yeah, that is. That's a chimney steeple. Oh, the thatch roof goes up actually piece by piece. It's not like a globular thing. Oh, look at that. That is an amazing house. Let's check this guy out. Holy moly. Got a loft up there. Nice porch. 
Oh, here's here's uh, the lady of the house, Darinya Palich Palichuk. Education one of five, unemployed, working on a private garden. Oh my goodness. What is she growing here? I don't know, but I, I like it. Look at her. She's working on it. What's she doing now? Oh, she's planting back here. She's doing the whole thing, dude. Every millimeter of ground she owns. <laughs> yeah, see up here, build houses for all families and camp before winter comes. Family's still intense. Eight, so we need eight more houses before like November. It's already the end of April, so the way they're going about building these houses with so many more actions now than it used to be, I'm I'm concerned. I am concerned that it's not going to be done in time because we did the farmhouses. Maybe that's the difference because. These over here might go up faster. They might. Let's move up one of those to the front of the list here, or the second in the list. We'll let them do this one. And we'll just see how fast this one without a farm goes up. Because the house should be the same, right? But it's just... All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, this is like easily quadrupled the number of actions they had to do before to build one house at least at at the very least quadrupled i would say more than that most likely we have a lot of constructors a lot of builders so that's going to help out very very nice I wonder if these houses are going to look the same because before all the houses had a slightly different design. There was like maybe six, five or six different house designs they had and it would just cycle through them as they built new ones. So we're going to see, we're going to see what happens here. And I think unfortunately we're going to have to move these wells to the end of the line because I am very concerned about these houses getting built in time. Now, <laughs> super worried about this now because the amount of materials and the amount of actions they have to take. We got people grabbing, uh, he's grabbing a boatload of thatch. He's grabbing wood. All right, they're, okay, this guy's putting stuff down. Excellent. I think we have about five guys that are on construction. So if they're all working it, you know, and they've got all the material sitting there, which it looks like they do now, they can just bang this guy out. And no, yeah, this is going much faster than last time, for sure. Yeah, they're they're knocking this one out, man. I bet they're gonna take a break soon, but these three guys are still banging it out, which is amazing. Oh, one's going for break. Come on, guys, you can finish it before break time. Oh no, another one left. Alright, the Lone Ranger. Oh, he's gone. Crap. No. How much water do we have? We have almost no water right now. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Let's do one of these guys out here. And we'll move him up. They can do this in like no time at all. Just so they can get some water out of the river easily. All right, guys. Let's bang this one out and get working on the next one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm just I'm I'm gobsmacked at how intricate and amazing 
the building construction is, especially on this house. I mean, just, just gobsmacked, man. Absolutely gobsmacked. Okay, so we got one lady working at the thatchery. They've already, they're already starting their, their thing to do. Now they should be working this, this guy out here now. They won't need many materials to do this. They brought some nails out. It says all resources are collected, even though there's none here, but there's a guy bringing it over, is what that means. So, yeah, when they're done bringing stuff over, so they're just going to bang it out here in a second. These two guys are going to bang it out. And then they can start bringing resources to the third house. Yeah, no time at all. And then hopefully somebody can get some water out of the, out of the river there. While they're doing that, I'm going to get a couple benches set up and they people in this game that you're colonists they love to sit on benches and just kind of hang out that's where they do their resting so we'll do a couple benches here let's do a couple out by the houses you know a hard day's work in your own private little garden man nice little bench can't put any inside there and decorate but that's okay one there, and then we'll have a couple out here by our new our new dock that people can. Uh, <laughs> that bird was really close to the camera, and we might as well put uh, let's put a cottonwood tree out here. No, let's get something with some shade, maybe an ash tree. Oh yeah, get an ash tree out here. And the cool thing about making trees is somebody actually has to, from the forestry building, somebody has to come over here and plant that. Plant the sapling. Which I also thought was really cool. So we'll we'll see if somebody comes and does that here in a minute. Meanwhile, they're bringing resources over to this new house. There's a guy getting clay way over there by the trees. Oh, it's this one over here. Right, we're going to see how fast this one goes up. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't want to miss the sapling being planted, but I, I don't think they're going to go over there right away. They're kind of busy <laughs> making wood slats or wood uh, planks. All right, it's time to start thinking about a marketplace, and I think right in front of these houses here is going to be a good spot. So let's get a few market stalls around, and uh, yeah, this is their side here. So let's uh, let's put a market kind of right here, and I think F is yeah rotates it like that. Let's do six of them out here. And let's put a little fencing around them. Let's do a small archway at either side. Let's kind of line this up. Small archway there. Small archway there. And we'll get some nice fencing going on around here. Get that going. Okay, grab another bit of fence, like so, and there, we got our own little marketplace, they have to go right through here to, to enter in there, we'll put a, uh, we'll, we'll put a bench or two down, well, maybe on the outsides. Yeah, on the outsides, that'll be fine. And then maybe those cottonwoods. Oh, they're too close together. <laughs> we won't mess with that. That'll be fine. So how's this house coming along here? Oh, it looks like it's the same thing. So it's not the old style. It's still all the new style. But that's okay. We just have to not distract them at all. And they so they can get all the houses built before November when the snows come. Because quite frankly, 
that is essential that we keep all of these families. We're just starting June. We're just in the first quarter of June. Hmm. It's going to be tight. It always was. It always was tight. Getting all this stuff done before the first winter. I'm just worried it's going to be even tighter now. Which might mean... Well, you, you have to do the smithy. I think I think you have to do the smithy. Are we running low on nails yet? No, not really. I, maybe you don't need a smithy right away. Now. I don't know. All right, there's house number three. Excellent. Okay, so at the market stall, we want um, we want somebody selling firewood. Oh my goodness. Okay, beetroot, cabbage, carrot, cucumber, onions. Oh man, raspberries. Wow. Where's firewood? There it is. <laughs> That's the only thing I really want right now, but I'm just looking at the new stuff. The farming is going to be very interesting now. I had a pretty good... I had a pretty good... Um, wait a minute. Uh, let's do worker by hands or cart. And the carters can work it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, make empty, move resources by wagon, move resources by cart. Okay. She's stocked full now. It's supposed to have a little thing of little icon here that says wood. At least that's what the update said, but I don't see that. I see a couple of people taking a rest. We got uh, Danielo Bukma and Darnia. Oh, that's, that's that girl that lives here. Oh, she's growing cabbage and she's growing... I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'll have to find out. And this guy's growing a lot of something different. <laughs> a lot of this stuff, maybe. And they have a little path here. Oh, it's so good. That is so cool. All right, fourth house going down. I'm working on it. I have to keep an eye on our nails. Each house requires 87. Yeah, I don't think you need the smithy right away. <laughs> I think that was just wasted time building that thing this time. And that was a few updates ago. I, I remember vaguely reading something about that. But, yeah, I don't know. I guess it didn't sink in like it should have. Okay. And land tax none. Oh, a dollar ninety-two. That's on these guys here. Oh, it gives you monthly income and their land tax there. Okay. So they're doing all right. They're doing really well. And it should show where they. This guy's construction. She's thatchery. They got two kids. Camp center. He must be the mayor. And unemployed. Oh, she's unemployed now. All right. She just. Uh, oh, he's. The mayor's hanging out here. Taking a rest from all the mayoring he's he's been doing. <laughs> I'm really loving the new the new house animations, the new construction animations, and design, and the new private farms, private gardens. Yeah, gardens. And they can sell this stuff. Um, Hmm. Can't remember. Maybe they have to sell it to the warehouse or something. But that's really cool. You know, they're gonna have their own little private, you know, food stock coming in. All right, nothing much else we can do right now except wait for these houses again. So I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, get these houses done. And there's number four. Excellent. Yep. Are they gonna start on their garden? Better start in your garden, man. Where's the lady of the house? Oh, she's working. Okay. She's working. Uh, 
and he's at the forestry so maybe they won't make a garden right away because they're both employed interesting the kids they don't know what they're doing <laughs> they don't know what they're doing I can't make a garden you gonna plant your garden come on now come on Bodan and o Oscana the uh, the 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 chair that family there you can do your garden right come on it'll be fine it'll be fine and they have somebody over in this house one of their kids is over here both their kids are going over here I guess to play or babysit I don't know I don't know what they're doing doing something that's so cool looking though so I wonder if they just don't have time to plant that garden, they're just not going to do it. Because I don't see anybody taking time to plant anything. And Because you have to tend your garden. You know, you got to take care of it. In real life, you got to weed it. You got to, you know, take care of it. Water it if it hadn't rained for a few days. It's a lot of work having a garden. All right, we got one guy still plugging away on this house. You can do it. You you can do it, guy. I believe in you. <laughs> we're we're in August, so two and a half months to go, and then time's up. And we have after this one, I think four more. Yeah, we have four more houses to go. Oh, they immediately planted their garden. What the heck, man? Oh, she's unemployed. So that's. Nastasia, 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 Natasha. I don't know. She's unemployed, so she planted the garden. I see. These guys are not unemployed, so they don't have time. They just don't have the time to raise two kids and plant a garden and go to work. You know, it's not going to work out. So I, I like that. That's actually really cool. So what is she planting out here? What the heck is that? Some kind of bush? Some kind of fruit? Or is that tomatoes? I don't know. Who knows? All I know is it's pretty awesome and I like it. I'll be very interested to see if it grows over time and they, you know, you see them harvest it and then they have a, a stockpile of whatever it was in their house. Maybe they can go to the market and sell it. I don't know. It would be cool if you could have, okay, here's, here's to the developer. Okay. It'd be really cool if you could have a market stall or maybe a new type of stall, like a private market, private market stall where you could put it in front of their house or somewhere nearby or even over here, at least put it in here and like link it to, say you build it. And you click it and say link to and you click this house and then that's their personal market stall for these guys oh yeah they got a bunch of potatoes bunch of carrots bunch of cabbage I think carrots and cabbage is what they grew they already harvested it so they've got a ton of stuff but what can they do to sell it I don't know Maybe we build a granary. 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 We build a granary. And they can sell it there. I don't know. Well, we're going to put that down there. And we might pause that. Yeah. Because we need other stuff first. We need uh, fishing. And we need a carpentry building nearby to this I guess I'll put a little alley between that there you go oh, another house is done and they have a little bit planted here uh, she's unemployed in Ir Irina Irina so she'll should be taking care of their garden looks like these guys still haven't planted anything they've got a whole crap load of stuff though <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, these guys have carrots and cabbage. All right, house number seven is going down. And we do have two more that don't have gardens. 
back over here. That one and that one to go. Then we're done. Then we're done with families and houses and we can move on and worry about food for everyone. Oh, somebody planted the tree. We didn't see it. There it is. A little baby, uh, little baby ash tree. And it'll grow over time, which is awesome. That's the coolest thing about it. We might put some trees around the marketplace. You know. Just to kind of denote this is a cool spot. Let's put three of these guys. And then three over here. Oh yeah, did you see him? Did you see him drop one in? Right there, there. Here they come. Planted it. And then we'll do some ash trees in between for some shade. There we go. And you know what? We'll we'll do some bushes. I wish they had different bushes as well. So a bunch of bushes, some trees, which is awesome. It'll just give it a little bit of a, a nice look to it. Got some benches to sit on. All right, this house is almost up. All right, she's unemployed, so let's see if she plants a, a garden. This one only has a very small garden, actually. They haven't planted much over here. Let's see if... Um, Yaroslava, Yaroslava, plants a garden here. No, no garden yet. So these guys here on the end haven't been, uh, they're not, they're not too keen on the gardening. That's okay though. I mean, it's their land. It's, the, it's your land, buddy. You know, you do what you want to do with it. Oh, these guys also harvested, but they haven't replanted. They've got 552 carrots and nine cabbage. These guys, all right, what is going on here? What is that? Are you gonna harvest this and we'll see what it is? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's November, it's middle, middle of November. We need two more houses before December, I guess. Oh, crap. Oh, that one looks different. That one looks totally different than the other ones. That is entirely made out of clay all the way around. All right, finish it up. Hurry. I think we're going to lose a family, man. I think we're going to lose a family. Oh, no. Come on. Okay, these guys are in. These guys are in. Can we get this house done in like two weeks? <laughs> Come on, Amish. Guys, hurry. They're not going to get done in time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, it's about to tick over into December. You see it up here in the middle of the screen. Oh, oh no. It's not going to work, is it? <sighs> and we're going to need a, a market over here somewhere as well. With some firewood. I think we'll do the same setup. Six and then kind of surround it. Uh, here comes the snow. Oh, thing is moving out because it's too cold to live in a tent. No. Okay, okay. Fine. Yeah, I was worried about that. This just takes so long to build one house now. It takes longer to build one house now, I should say. Probably a more realistic time. But if I hadn't built the smithy, I think I think we'd have been okay. I definitely need to keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to move these to the front. Because we don't need that house done immediately. We, just, we need these wells, though, to start filling up with water. 
Oh man, that stinks. Okay, let's move on. We need a boat yard and a fishing dock. So let's put the boat yard over here and the fishing dock inaccessible. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Let's put the fishing dock over here. Okay, so this well's complete. It'll start filling up with water. And then they can get from that. I wonder if, uh, if this is like an over the winter crop. Because they still haven't harvested it. Well, and then we need to think about... We need to think about... Where is it at? A farm. Yep. You think about a farm which is probably going to be out here. We'll just uh, we'll just put it right here near these guys and then something like that and then have the fields kind of going around here on the outside. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking about. All right, we <laughs> this last house, oh, it just didn't go up. Oh, it's all wood. Look at that. So this one was all clay. Got a little green shutters on this door. Most of them were uh, half wood, half clay up until this point. Yeah. All of them were. Then we had one that was uh, all clay. And then this one looks like it's... Oh no, they're, uh, they're putting clay here. Interesting. But it's still a different look. It's still a different look than this guy. Because these guys have like a little a little patio here. And these guys do not. That's so awesome. Oh, and you can see the foundation now. That's cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that change. Just, just little tiny details like that is a big deal. It really is. All right, we're going to have to get somebody on the smithy. So we're going to take a guy out of here. We're going to hire somebody here. We're going to say labor by hand, labor by cart, carter. And then we can have all of our iron here and all of our charcoal here. Oh, we need a charcoal pit. Crap, I forgot about that. <laughs> charcoal pile. I completely forgot about that. So let's put a couple of those guys down. Yeah, I should have put those in earlier. Because they could have been making charcoal already been done. Okay. So we're looking okay. We're looking okay. Let's see. Um, okay, okay. And let's... Uh, we do need the carpentry building done. We're going to wait on this granary. Granary. Until we absolutely need it. But I'm curious if these guys can sell their stuff to the granary. Because that's something that the um, the update patch note said. That um, they can sell their stuff at a warehouse or a granary. So that would be cool to see. You know, they're selling their cabbage and they're selling their... their their carrots and all that good stuff for some more money. We do need another cart park. So let's put that over here maybe. Maybe right about right here on the uh, edge of the clay pit. Let's put that before the farm. So we can go another another year without the farm actually. We can do that. Oh, the ladies are bringing the uh, the firewood over for the coal pit. Excellent. And we're actually going to disable this one. Let's let's deactivate that one. Because we don't want to use all of our coal or all of our firewood up. How much do we have actually? Oh, we've got we've got tons. Holy crap, we've got tons of it. <laughs> we've got loads of firewood. Anybody moved in here yet? 
Not enough food for sale. Yep. I knew that was going to happen. So now we're going to be hurting for workers really bad. You know. Let's do the max of that. Okay. We do need a guy working here. We do. Because he's going to have to repair the carts that are taking a bit of damage. And our cart, our cart park is coming up next. I think we'll do that next. That way we can have him building some carts so we can get more stuff done faster. Oh yeah, these guys need a, a well over here. Did I put a well? Yeah, I did. I did put a well over here. And it's, it's looking good. This one's looking okay as well. And this one's okay. So this one will eventually just go away. I think we're going to get rid of this stuff as well. This beginning area stuff that we no longer need. Uh, let's put a couple benches out here. Maybe over here by these guys. They got somewhere to kind of hang out. Right, this guy he has no coal to do anything with, so that's all right. Okay. So they got this done. We're going to put an order in for four more carts. So he's got something to do now. So we need metal parts. So this guy... Yeah, we need, uh, we need our coal. We need our charcoal, man. Let's put a fence around this stuff. Yeah. Let's put a let's put a little arch here so they can come out of this they can come out of this way. And we'll put a little fence in here. Kind of like this. To sort of to sort of denote this area is the production area. And then we're going to need another, we'll do a big arch here. So you can go in and out relatively easily. Do that th there. Yeah, that looks all right. We'll figure it out. And then we'll bring this one in a little bit. And then out. And around the back, spin it around here again. Sorry if I'm giving you vertigo. <laughs> Not meaning to, but yeah, that looks good. That's a little little production area there. That's cool looking. A couple benches in there. Let's put a couple trees in there while they're just building stuff. Yeah, let's put a let's put an ash tree in here. Put one like maybe uh, not not there no 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 maybe there yeah that looks good now they're working on the boat yard so to get fishing operation going you need a boat yard to build the boats and you need a fishing dock or fishing yeah fishing dock to put an order in for the boats kind of like I did here for the cart park I put orders in for these. So this guy is hopefully working on it, but he's he needs metal parts real bad. So these guys are, yeah. So he, they're bringing in the charcoal. He has stuff to do now, but he is apparently on break. Yep, he's on he's on a break. What's going on here? Storage is full. Okay, so maybe charcoal down to two thousand, and iron to. 3,000. Yeah, there we go. So now he's getting to work. Nice to have another guy working this stuff. And yeah, we're out of nails, so it was good timing on that. We're out of nails now. This looks to be done. Okay. 
And let's go ahead and get uh, 5,000 wood if we can. Stored in there. These guys are busy boys. <laughs> but they've got plenty of everything. Plenty of everything. So let's let's work on cloning this over here. I wish you could clone it. You'd be like, okay, I want to clone this. And then plop it over here somewhere. That would be another nice quality of life sort of change. But that's all right. For now, we just got to do it manually. So we will put another market out here. Maybe right over here. How about this? How about right here? Yeah. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? I think that'd be okay. And then here. Yeah, that's fine. Put another arch here. Put some fencing around it. Oh, let's see. Okay. All right. Now this time I think I left room enough for some benches. So yeah, let's put uh, one in here on this side, one on this side. Oh no, that's okay. One bench is fine. <laughs> one bench is fine. Put some uh, trees in here. And some bushes. There we go. Not bad, not bad. And then we'll have somebody over here selling some more firewood. We want only only women to work here. We want to do like that. And then uh, hire somebody in. There we go. Oh, oh, copy a building. Well, that's okay. And I want to see the workers and the local market. Oh, there it is. Local market. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's leave that on for now. It might get annoying later, but that's good. They have 1,600 wood in there. No, they have 400 wood. This shows four stacks but she's only got okay that's kind of buggy that's kind of buggy that's all right that's okay well, what are we working on now we're working on the fishing dock okay let's check this guy out we only have three guys working construction right now and it is february the, the end of february things are starting to thaw out a little bit so we're gonna need somebody working here And we need three guys working there at some point. Oh boy. Hey, I can move these over here. No, I can't, I can't move over there. Can I? Used to be able to drag him over. Oh, yeah, I need to. They need to have room in there. There we go. Okay. So let's do another cart park. Let's do that down here somewhere. Maybe right over here. Make sure we're not overlapping this, uh, whatchamacallit. 
Okay, the fishing dock is ready. We need boats and we need the guy working here. So we're going to bring these guys down again. Hopefully a guy pops in there soon. Oh yeah, this, these guys apparently sell wood too. Hmm. I'd rather they didn't. I wish there was a thing that says do not sell wood here. Oh, destroy resources. No! Anybody working here yet? Yeah, there's a guy working here. Going to work. He lives really far away. That's okay. Alright, let's bring it to just one lady here. Because they don't have anything really to do right now. And our two construction guys should be working on this farm right there. Now they're bringing some resources over. Are you making a wagon? Oh yeah, so you... So we can get rid of this now. And as soon as this guy's done, we'll get four more carts in operation. Then we're almost done clearing out our, our starter area, which will be very nice. All right, he's going to get wood. He is taking a break. <laughs> you live so far away. Oh, man. You live so far away, man. He's not going to accomplish much living that far away. Oh, he's all the way over here. All right, these guys have not replanted either. So that's kind of... Okay, does she... Oh, she's working. He's working. They're working. They're working. They're working. Everybody's working now, so... Hmm. Interesting. So they might not have time to garden now that everybody's employed doing something. Vacant, not enough food for sale. So we need fish for sale. That basically is what it boils down to. And this guy needs to make some boats. <laughs> Going to get wood. Why didn't you just bring wood on your trip over here, dude? Holy crap. Uh, let's see. Cart shed. Let's do one of those. Let's do one. Let's do one of these. And and hire some cart people. Let's do that over here. Let's see. Okay. Let's do that here. Oh, we can go right into the fence, huh? Let's do that here. And let's cancel this. Cancel you. So after the farm, they'll do the card shed. These wood nails and clay, a lot of wood. Some nails and some clay. Okay. Would you like to build a boat today, dude? Like we're running out of, we're running out of summer months here, man. We're running out of, I'm gonna, I'm going to fire you. Let's see. Fire this guy. Hire somebody here. Same guy. Hire a different guy here. <laughs> Hire a different guy here. Please. Nobody's looking for a job. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Oh, boy. This guy has nothing to do right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire him. Oh my goodness! Nobody's looking for work right now. I need, I need. Okay, this guy, he lives far away too. It, you know, it's whatever. It's whatever. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We do need our uh, our farm to come up this this year, so we can have it ready for next year. But I'm excited to see the cart park because apparently you can hire people to just do that, and they just move stuff around. 
all over the place. So that'd be really good, actually. That'd be really, really good. Oh, he built a boat. Our new guy built a boat. He built the boat. Awesome. So now we need somebody here. And we can. <laughs> we need a fisherman. We need a fisherman. Oh, did he quit? <laughs> did you make a boat and then say, you know what? <laughs> That's not for me. I'm out of here. Or did he he switch profession? He's like, you know what? I want to be I want to keep using this boat. That boat's mine. I built it. I'm gonna fish in it. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh no, he went back. Now there's nobody here. <laughs> make up your mind. Make up your mind. All right, so you know what? With that, I think we're going to call it good for now. Call it good for now. This this episode is now complete. You know, thank you very much for tuning in today and checking out Ostrov with me for Alpha 4, version 0 0.4.0.0. .0. Thank you very much for tuning in. Like I said, it, great to have you here at the channel. Uh, if you like city builder games, real-time strategy stuff, you know, that's what kind of goes on around here. You know, if you liked what you saw, I'm not going to say it. You know what to do. We'll see you next time. My name is Lothans. You are you. I am me. Thank you so much. Goodbye.